Albert is here trekking more of this fall like weather for tomorrow and then a pretty long return to summer. Yeah, all next week we've got highs in the 80s. We could even make it near 90 again Wednesday, wow. Thursday and Friday. The humidity goes up, so no, we're not done with summer just yet, but a preview of fall for sure tonight, tomorrow and tomorrow night. I want to show you the Doppler radar because as you make your evening plans, including for Friday night football, not a washout, but a couple of showers will be possible. They are fading away, though. We have this one little downpour crossing I-90 just south of Marengo. The Doppler radar is actually pinging off some teeny tiny hail just because it's a little bit colder above our heads. And these showers right now in LaSalle County moving across LaSalle, crossing I-39 has just passed Mendota and approaching Ottawa. They're fading away, so a few passing showers possible up until the latter part of the evening. Temperatures cooling into the 60s. We briefly made it to 70 earlier this afternoon in Chicago. It's 68 right now at O'Hare, a little cooler Michigan City at 64. And the winds have been breezy, but the winds are accelerating tonight and through tomorrow. Right now we're looking at wind gusts around 20 to 25 miles per hour and with building winds means building waves with Lake Michigan. So we have a beach hazard with dangerous boating and swimming conditions now all the way until late tomorrow night. Could have waves later tonight and tomorrow morning as high as 10 feet. It's breezy tomorrow. It's sunny though tomorrow, but it's cooler at 65. Less wind on Sunday and we'll make it back up to about 75 degrees and that's just the beginning of a warming trend that yes will take us back into summer mode next week. It builds slowly low 80s on Monday, mid 80s Tuesday, but then upper 80s to near 90. Wednesday into the latter part of next work week. So we'll look for a passing shower this evening and then a few air areas of lake effect rain, mainly for northwest Indiana by tomorrow morning. Look how cool we are tomorrow morning. 40s in the suburbs, upper 40s, low 50s across Chicago, and it's a cool breezy day for tomorrow with highs locked in low to mid 60s with breezy winds out of the north. That's why the waves will be rough and uh, still dangerous swimming conditions and boating conditions through late tomorrow night. Sunday morning, I think will be even chillier. We'll have some upper 30s and low 40s. 40s in the western and southwestern suburbs, a little bit more 40s across Chicago into northwest Indiana to start the day on Sunday. But with bright sunshine and more of a west wind, we'll get back into the 70s to wrap up the weekend. Bottom line, really nice day for the home opener for the Bears. Kickoff at noon at Soldier Field at 68 and then low 70s for the second half of the game. Yeah, breezy, but nothing uh, that strong out of the west around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Let's talk about the building heat for next week. We should be upper 70s this time of the year. I mean, we're headed into the officially fall just about two weeks from now. It's going to feel like summer again next week. Lots of sunshine. There's no rain in the forecast. Humidity stays down Monday, Tuesday, but you'll start to feel it with highs closing into near 90 degrees middle and end of next work week. So 49 degrees for tonight. A few evening showers possible. It's breezy. Temperatures will be coolest out here in the western suburbs, about 43 Aurora, 46 in Kankakee, where clouds linger a little bit longer. We'll look for some low 50s southern Cook County into northwest Indiana. Not as windy as we head towards Sunday. Lots of sunshine in 75. 80s are back in town Monday, mid 80s, mostly sunny on Tuesday, and a lot of upper 80s and a lot of sunshine middle and end of next work week. So we're not ready to put away the shorts oh, and shorts. No, not no, just yet. Not just yet. Thanks, Albert. <laughs>